Alright, so this is different from what I normally react to, but it's this video I saw that my recommended, and it looked like Jamaica, and I, I don't, you know, I know I'm, I'm, my, I'm a descendant of of parent, you know, my parents from Jamaica. I'm over here trying to say some fancy shit. My parents from Jamaica, you feel me? So I'm descended from Jamaica, you feel me? Even though I was born in um, New York, America. Um, you have to recreate self to experience the new era of cons consciousness ross stimulant is on i never knew tv and then they got 212k subscribers let's get into it first thing you have to do you have to find find the value within self find something within yourself. find value within yourself you feel me? I feel like a lot of people lack that. That's why we got so many people who don't know what they want to do or don't know where they want to go with their life. You haven't found the value within yourself. You feel me? First thing you got to find if you want to find yourself and really know what you want to do with your life. Really, to even just begin to work on yourself, you got to know who you are, what you're worth, and where you want to go. It's the only way. Yourself that is worth working on, that is worth manifesting. Find something within yourself. That is worth it. That is, is, that is worth it. We're living in a time where religion is becoming obsolete, which would have been the beacon of light for those before us. In Christianity or Buddhism or any religion, it's hard to explain to someone about, how can I tell about a, a God that I never met? I thought that the way to the universe was through the sky, but I was wrong. The way to the universe is through the mind. And I think uh, I, I, I have... Oof. That was That was deep. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, I didn't catch that. Yeah, I didn't catch that. He said, I thought the way through the universe was through the sky, but I, I was wrong. The way through the universe is in your mind. The whole universe is in your mind. If you think about it, if you think about it, a lot of people don't think about this, you feel me? But real shit, the universe is in your mind. Where did we come from? You feel me? Let me ask you a quick question. Let me let me let me enlighten y'all real quick. You feel me? Cause y'all niggas a lot of niggas don't know. A lot of niggas don't know. Where did where did the earth come from, right? Where did we come from? We we came from the earth, right? We 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 were formed on the earth. First the earth formed, you feel me? A bunch of rocks hit each other. They were flying around in space or whatever. You feel me? Rocks hit each other, earth formed, all of that good shit, you feel me? And then after a while, you know, the sea and the landscape and all of that started forming. Then, you know, life started forming from the sea. And, you know, we ended up, you know, evolution and all that. We ended up here, you feel me? So safe to say, um, we came from the stars, you feel me? We came from the universe. The universe created itself well it didn't create itself but you know the big bang or whatever if you believe in that big bang happened rocks flew around hit each other formed the earth which formed us so we literally came from the space you know the same particles that created space is what's inside of us and you feel me so and you know people you might want to some people might say the mind is limitless look at all we've done with just our minds you feel me the universe is literally in your mind. But let's continue. It's like Horton hears a who type shit, you feel me? Yeah, y'all don't, y'all don't, yeah. Hope y'all following. Some, people, some of y'all might not be following. Some of y'all might think I'm crazy or Ed, but, you know, it is what it is. On the way of thinking that keeps me focused on trying to open that portal within the mind to become totally spiritual. Because we're already, we are already physical. And we know everything about our physical being, but we know nothing about our spiritual being. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about being Jamaican. None of this is new to me. I've, I've heard shit like this so much throughout my life because Jamaican people are very spiritual and religious people. And they like to like talk about, you know, a lot of shit they like to thank you for me this especially once they they're frost or they get high jamaican people just go like all over the place if you never sat with a jamaican person you feel me sit with a jamaican person and just talk bro they jamaican people are all over the place we talk about everything on it don't matter 
don't matter what it is. I did it relate to the me not having a job. I remember when I used to have to, I have to put my pride aside and beg. Because the things that I never have, I have to beg them. And that in itself teach me that, you know, teach me humility, teach me humbleness. Because in a situation where you don't have nothing and you ask somebody for something, they're not, ob not, ob they're not obligated to you. Yeah. They're not really have to give you. So you Nobody have to has have the to right give you anything. You gotta remember that. Time. Some people. And sometimes you have the right approach. Some people who have stuff have this feeling like other people are supposed to give them stuff just because they have stuff. That's a lack of humility right there. It's because they have never went without. They don't realize that people are not obligated to give them anything in life. No one's obligated to do anything for you in life. People should remember that. You feel me? Learn that at a young age. But you just have the wrong timing. So when I go through the time there, I realize, say, that couldn't work because deep inside of me, my spirit that said me this stronger than that and I could have done better than that. And that me realize. Oh, you realize your worth. We don't know our strength. And if we just know just a fraction of what you of could what do. we're supposed to know. Oh gosh, man. Because you see, self infinite. I've heard this exact speech at barbecues growing up, bro. Combo is so stop. There's no ending to self. It's just you can just discover more within self. And that's the thing there. So we see even in the future, in the Oh, they had captions for that. That's the thing there. You can just discover more within self. And that's the thing. <laughs> and that's the thing there. But that's a good captions though. That's where the thing is. You feel me? That's what he said. And that's the thing there. That's that's exactly what it means, you feel me? Of Adessa. Dessa. You feel me? Yeah. So we see even in the future, in the close future, right now, I mean people really are search for for, for tapping. Because people really want to come out of the system, you know, but they don't really have a medium where they can escape through. Yeah. Because if you give up the system, you still have to have something in place to keep things. At a now, you see what I say? They can't dash the system, man. Like, yeah, there's you still have to play in the system, regardless of if you find your. A lot of people try to find their way out through like YouTube or like, or like um, was that drop shipping and creating your own business or whatever? Uh, being an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, um, that's the way to get out. Um, a lot of people are going that way because they don't want to work a nine to five. They don't want to be in corporate America. You feel me? A lot of people not with that. I'm in corporate America. Um, and like, it's not it's not all bad, but you feel me? If if I could get out and control my time, of course I would. You feel me? I think everyone would for the most part. But um, as long as a lot of people get out sooner because they just hate their job. You feel me? And if you really hate your job, it's gonna force you towards that route. If your job isn't that bad, then you might stay in there for a little while, uh, which is probably what I'm going to try and do. You feel me? Let's continue. And then you live like caveman again, you know? So you have to smart, you recreate self, you know? You meet the new era. Yeah. To find value in a place where there's no purpose, the emphasis would, to, would be to find the value in self because if there's nothing outside of you of any use or any value I guess the next place to look is within to find the value within and when we find the value within ourselves we can bring it out creating value around us because if I feel like a king within myself and I'm living like a peasant if I continue to feel like a king Eventually, I'm going to change my surrounding to make it look like a palace. Yeah, so I think, yeah, inside. Find purpose within self to create value outside of self. Facts. Because the world is really created from what is within. Everything you see is someone's idea and it came from, with, it came from inside. So we took the value from inside and put it on the outside. 100%. Well, if the situation is hopeless, it creates an opportunity to make something happen. In a hopeless situation, 
gives you an opportunity to create what is missing. I found out that I am responsible for how I feel. My environment or the people around me don't determine how I feel. 100%, you control your feelings, you feel me? That last part, I agree with, been agreeing with that since the beginning. And that's a lot of things a lot of people have problems with. I realize, especially if you're extroverted, you really extroverted, you love to talk and be around people. Um, that's, that's something that those, you know, those people, they, they just can't relate to, you feel me? Um, but yeah. Yeah. You know, your emotions, you control them. You feel me? So, like, don't let no one else or your environment or anyone control your emotions. You feel me? You choose if you want to be happy, if you want to be sad. You feel me? You could change. You could flip just like that. If you sad about something, trust me, you could make yourself happy. You could turn that sadness off like that if you really wanted to. Just like you could be happy in a moment. If someone... You see when you happy in a moment and someone do some fuck shit and then immediately you get mad? You don't have to do that. You could control yourself to not do that. You could control yourself to still have a good time. You feel me? But a lot of people let the situation and people around them control how they act and how they feel. You control that. Don't let nobody control you. You feel me? So I gotta say, hope... This video added value to your life and um, I'm going to see you on the next video.